everyone! Welcome to the channel! This video is a tutorial on how to rip your PlayStation 3 game discs using the PS3 Disc Dumper program created by 13X Forever. This method will dump your games into a format that can be used with the PlayStation 3 emulator, RPCS3, as well as modded consoles. Ripping your games is a one-click process once the disc dumper is set up, so there really isn't a whole lot for me to cover here, but there are a couple of things that I want to note before jumping in. First of all, this method will require a compatible Blu-ray drive, so it's a good idea to double-check the list of compatible drives on the RPCS3 Quick Start page. This isn't a comprehensive list, so there's a chance that your drive will still work even if you don't see it on there. Aside from your drive and disc, the only other things you'll need for this method are the PS3 Disc Dumper program and the IRD file that matches your game. The Disc Dumper will automatically download the correct IRD if it's available, but you can also find them manually on the IRD library website, or you can use a custom IRD if you have one. I'll circle back to this in a bit, but if you can't find an IRD for your game, this method will not work and you'll need to use a PlayStation 3 with custom firmware to do the job. You'll find links to the Disc Dumper and the IRD library down in the description. And while you're down there, be sure to hit that subscribe button to see more tutorials like this and all sorts of other emulation related content from me. Once you've got the disc dumper downloaded and extracted, go ahead and get started by inserting your game disc and opening up the program. The first time you start it up, you'll be prompted to set paths for your game files and IRDs. The output folder is where your game files will end up and by default they'll get copied to the disc dumper directory. You may want to change this to keep things more organized, but I'm just going to keep this set to the default location for this video. Next you can change the location where the program will download IRD files and look for them when it comes time to validate your RIP. By default the program will make a folder for IRDs in the disk dumper directory, but I've already got a folder full of IRDs on my desktop, so I'm just going to point it there. The disk dumper will automatically download the IRD file for your game if it's available, but you can also use a custom IRD or one that you found manually. All you need to do is stick it in the directory you specified here and you're good to go. Just be sure you're using an IRD that matches your game's ID. You can find this on the spine of your game case or in tiny print on the edge of your disk's label. Last of all, if you want to change how your game folders get named by this program, you can do so here. Below this field you can see a list of variables that you can use to construct your own naming convention, although I'm just going to stick to the default pattern. Once everything is set, go ahead and hit OK. Now that you've got the program configured, make sure your disk is detected and a key has been found, then just click the start button to begin ripping and decrypting the game. Once the process is complete, you should see confirmation that the files were decrypted properly and that the dump was validated with the IRD. From here you can go ahead and pop in your next game and keep ripping, or close on out of the program. Head to the output directory you specified earlier, and you'll find your game files inside. You can run these games in RPCS3 by dragging and dropping them into the emulator, or by opening one from within the emulator itself. So that's how you rip your PlayStation 3 games using the disc dumper. If you had any issues with this method, I've got another video linked below that will cover another method, but it's a bit more involved and shouldn't provide any different results in most cases. Dumping games with an actual PlayStation 3 is the only method that I know of that will work with every game, so just let me know in the comments if you want to see me cover that, and I'll make it happen. Otherwise, if you found this video useful, or you're just into baritone voices and Midwestern accents, hit that subscribe button to see more videos from me in the future. And as always, Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.